love and I'm here on a set of Squatters. I play Kelly in the movie and I'm in my makeup trailer currently <laughs> and I'm talking to celebs. So tell me a little bit about your character Kelly and set up the story for me a little. Okay, um, well Squatters is about homeless kids from Venice Beach. Um, my character doesn't actually come from Venice. Um, she's been in foster care, kind of bouncing around California with different places. Um, and her story really is, she starts off um, on Venice Beach as one of the homeless kids and ends up in a house in the Pacific Palisades where they squat in the house that's empty for a month. So they move into the house um, and they start living there and then the family come home before they're out of the house. So there's a sort of quite tense moment there where they have to get out quickly, uh, which she does. Um, but she then meets the son of the family of the home she was living with and ends up falling in love with him. So she gets back to the house again, um, sort of under false pretenses, just trying to live really as someone else. And then it all comes to a head and everything goes wrong. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of the story, I guess. And is this the, how's this role been for you? What's been the biggest challenge in this role for you? I think there's been so many challenges. It's a big role. Um, there's a lot going on for her. It's very far away from me and my life. and. I mean, she's American for starters, she's homeless, um, she's been in foster care, she has a huge arc in the story, you know, she starts off very much as a child and as a kid who doesn't really think of consequence of anything she does, um, I think she doesn't really think forward at all, um, she just kind of is, and she's faced with her actions quite brutally towards the end, and so she learns quite a sort of harsh lesson. Mm -hmm. I heard you had a pretty emotional scene today, how I did. do you prepare for that? Um, I mean, there takes. I tend to sort of do a lot of preparation before I start filming a movie, um, and then really with a sort of particular scene like that, it's really just about trying to get in the headspace. Um, Martin, the director, is great about giving you the space to do that and the freedom to sort of play around in the scene. And then it's kind of you just have to let go of all that and just go and see what happens. Is it more uncomfortable to have to be dramatic and cry on camera, or to make out? On in both, in very <laughs> different ways. Um, I think I sort of had to do both in this film, and I think neither really should, it shouldn't be uncomfortable to cry. I think that's just something that it's very scary when you think you have to do it, and once you're doing it, you should just be in it, and you don't really think like that. And with love scenes and stuff, it's always a bit awkward and a bit strange. Um, but you know, as long as you have you know, a good co-star and, and everyone on the set's nice, it's, it's fine, you just kind of laugh your way through it. Now you're also the face of Burberry. How does mm -hmm. modeling well, I don't actually really model. Um, I quit modeling when I was 17, so about six years ago now. Oh, wow. Quite a long time. Um, I did the Burberry with them, really as sort of, they, they like to sort of choose an actress to be the face or a musician. Um, so I did it this year kind of as the actress. Um, so that was kind of a bit of a throwback for me, doing a, doing a photo shoot again mm -hmm. like that. Um, it's a very different thing. I, I quit modeling because it, it wasn't for me. I, I didn't like the industry. I didn't. You know, it's it's great if you love it. Um, I just didn't really feel at home in it, and I think I definitely feel at home in acting. So you do. What yeah. Do you, you light up when you talk about it. What do you love about it so much? Yeah, I just I don't know. I came to it later in life. I I wanted to be a painter until I was at art school and I started acting, um, and I only started about three years ago. So I think I just as soon as I kind of discovered it for myself, I was sort of bitten by the bug and totally. yeah, yeah. Speaking of bitten by the bug, you're simultaneously doing. I understand another film right now. How are you mm -hmm. managing that? Well, I actually am, I'm start filming. Um, I'm doing Carrie next, and I so I start that next week. So I'm flying straight from here to start that. So it's quite a full <laughs> on at the moment. Good. Yeah. Good punishment. Are you excited about that? There's yeah. A lot of buzz about yeah. It. I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited to work with Kim Pierce. She's amazing. Um, the cast that they're putting together now are just incredible and. Yeah, I've been trying not to think about it too much because I'm kind of doing this one at the moment. Um, but I think this weekend it's going to hit me a little bit yeah. what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a big deal movie yeah. in the States, especially. I don't know if it's like yeah. in the UK. But well, it is. I mean, you know, it's sort of quite an iconic book and, and previous movie. So it's really exciting to be kind of part of something like that. And I just finished reading the book, actually, and I'm really excited that this movie is sticking very closely to the book because I think there's some stuff that the other one missed out that's really great. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we hope to talk to you for that one. Thank you. Yeah, for your thank time. you. <laughs>